you on editing. Right, it's very early, about 6.30 in the morning. Uh, very long journey yesterday getting to um, the hotel which I'm at now, which is about four kilometers from the uh, currently erupting Kirishima volcano. So I am just preparing my kit um, because I'm just about to set out um, into the national park which is near the volcano to document the eruptions. Um, so it's winter in Japan right now. So got to pack all the real warm weather gear because they're forecasting snow which um, I'm not really looking forward to. And just looking at the current webcam, we can see this is what it's doing right now, live. So that's a really useful way for me, being in the hotel, knowing what's going on up there. And if something does escalate massively, I can rush out the door um, and head to where I've got a good view of the volcano. So this is the trailhead, which is going to take me up to Lake Onami, and which should give me a fantastic view of the eruption. Uh, as you see, it's pretty cold up here. There's quite a lot of snow around. Um, and hopefully it won't take me too long to get to the top. Oh, I've just hiked for about 45 minutes up to uh, Onami Crater Lake, which is uh, one of the nearby uh, craters to the active vent at Kirishima, which, as you can see now, is uh, uh, erupting in full swing. Uh, ironically, the biggest danger so far coming up here, it hasn't been the volcano, it's been the ice, because uh, we're in the middle of winter now and it's very cold up here. But um, I need to trek around this crater and get to the, the ridge which is uh, in the background and then there I'll have an uninterrupted view more or less right into the active vent and be able to document the, the uh, eruption really close up. The eruption here at Kirishima Volcano continues unabated with uh, large explosions taking place regularly uh, such as the one behind me right now. Uh, this is causing a lot of disruption to the surrounding area due to volcanic ash fallout and a lot of train services have been disrupted and roads closed in the region surrounding the volcano. Well, I'm now tentatively making my way back uh, off the mountain, back to the main road, because uh, the weather's really turned in now. Uh, 
It's um, snowing quite hard and the path is covered in sheet ice, uh, which is actually the most dangerous part about being up here. Ironically, it's not the volcano, it's falling over and uh, hurting myself. Well, this job is pretty unglamorous at times. Um, I'm due to go live on World Report in about 10 minutes, so I'm just setting up in a place where uh, I can set up my mobile Wi-Fi unit, attach or connect to it through my iPhone, get Skype going, and then speak to the, uh, the producers and controllers through Skype on the side of this mountain in the middle of a blizzard. I can hear the volcano, it's still erupting, but I can't see it, so I'm starting to make my way down now because, you know, there's not much to film, it's getting cold. Well, there you go. Whew. My hand is absolutely frozen from holding up the, uh, that gadget was a mobile uh, portable Wi-Fi unit because my SIM card, which, um, and most SIM cards from around the world don't actually work in Japan, so I've had to get uh, a Wi-Fi connection and connect via Skype to that. So uh, I'm absolutely frozen. It's going to get dark in about two and a half hours. So I've got to get off this mountain as quickly as possible back to the hotel so I can start uh, editing video. 